Hey everybody, it's Corleone from Lightcast Studios. Welcome to this tutorial. Today, if you haven't read the title, I'm going to be showing you how to use the internet. Now, a lot of people would be clicking this just because they're curious on what I'm going to talk about, but really this is for the basics of, uh, basically for people who don't understand how to use it or its optional features and things like that, and I'm going to be as, uh, as simple as possible for people who don't understand the technical terms of the internet. So I'm not trying to be uh, too technical with um, this, I'm just trying to be very simple. And so we're going to use different types of browsers and go over different types of things like URLs, folders, um, the search engine, safe browsing, and watching out for adware and things like that. To, to begin we're going to open up Internet Explorer which was the first program I started using before Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox and Safari came out um, which came with Microsoft which comes with most computers um, unless you're using a Macintosh, which in, which in case would you, you would um, have Safari on your uh, computer installed instead. But enough of that. We've opened up Internet Explorer, which comes with Microsoft Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, an operating system that many people use um, basically for anything. So right here we have the Internet um, Explorer window. We have a bunch of different things. We have the back and the forward. So let's say we clicked images. We typed in uh, cats on the images for Babylon.com. We would see a lot of little images of cats. If we'd like to go back, we simply click back and we'll go to the web page, which is what I'm going to be using to refer to these images that pop up in front of you um, as. And if you'd like to go back to those cats, you click forward. Or you can do it the long way, go to images, cats, enter, images, and you see a bunch of cats. You can also go to videos, and you would see a bunch of videos about cats, neon cats, songify this, a bunch of different little things about cats. <clears throat> and so that's basically how to use that. Um, the farther you get within a... Uh, Internet Explorer window, the more forwards and backwards you have to click in order to get to somewhere. You can also click Alt, Left, and it'll go back, and you can also go forward, etc, etc. I prefer using the back and forward just because it's right there on my screen and I can click it. Now, usually people will be pre presented with this website, I'm sorry, presented with this website right here. Um, msn.com if you use uh, Microsoft you know Internet Explorer and this is usually the website that um, Microsoft likes to have people have it set at because it's competition to Google and as you can see this is the search engine that Microsoft has put on this website because of the fact that they like being and they're trying to push for a new search engine which nobody likes maybe some of you like it maybe some of you don't care I think I've addressed everybody. Getting back to it, this is how your website or your web page, your home page, would be set to. Now, because I have downloaded a program, it has set my web page to this weird uh, search engine called Babylon. I really don't like it and I want to change it. But I'll tell you how to do that later. What we have next is the URL. Um, this is basically where we have the, I believe URL stands for Universal Reference Link or something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, I probably am. But basically, this is where you get type get to type in websites. So, like, let's say you're a senior citizen who wants to watch a YouTube video her grandson sent to her and or told her to look up on YouTube. Now, she doesn't know how to do that because she doesn't know how to get to YouTube.com. Well, this is a pretty simple thing to fix. So, let's say we let's say we went back and forward, and we have this big old search thing right here. Well, all we need to do is just click it once and it will highlight the entire thing. We click backspace on our keyboard and type in www.worldwideweb.youtube spelled exactly how it sounds really dot com enter. Now you never use spaces when you're typing in a URL because you may get errors. So let's say I typed in YouTube with the space it'll have Internet Explorer cannot display the web page because it's not a valid URL. Web pages run on folders and files and basically anything that is created inside the FTP client and that's basically where you store all the files for your website on your computer and or on a host server using a program or a company that's that basically lets you host um, your own website like cPanel 
or domain.com all those all those things allow you to make your own website and also store onto a server um, when you so choose I used um, godaddy.com to um, make my website but now we're on YouTube what we have here is presented with a bunch of little things we have a bunch of videos may overwhelm you um, in a second but let's say we want to click a video we can simply click a video off of YouTube reveal trailer for Call of Duty Black Ops 2 I'm not trying to advertise or anything really I'm not and the video will load on YouTube we can pause it by clicking the video scroll down and change the quality of the video if you like high quality like plasma screen quality click 720p which is HD high definition a lot of people have um, you know flat screen TVs LCDs plasmas and things like that and also it has a bunch of different little perks to it like telling you how many views it's got um, a bunch of comments and you can also post your own comment on YouTube let's say your son wants you to post a comment on your you know YouTube page now you don't know how to do this because you really have never used this before what you need to do is click sign in if you have a Google account for Gmail enter your email and your password or if you have a YouTube account you can simply click type that in as well if you'd like to make a YouTube account you can just simply click sign up um, I'm sorry down here and you can sign up for a Google account now if you feel like you're being ripped off and you don't want to do any of this crap don't even bother and tell them to go fuck off getting back to the search website which is our home page is a little tricky sometimes because you may not remember to use the back button well there's this nifty little icon right here that has the home button you can click alt on your keyboard which is right under the Z and the X on your keyboard and click um, home on your keyboard as well and you'll be go home now if you're still on YouTube and you want to learn how to get back to your main page or your home page is what it's called you simply click the home icon right in the top corner and you'll be getting back to the home page as quick as possible depending on your internet connection obviously okay now let's say you have a search box on the side of your internet internet web page what you can do is let's say let's just open Mozilla Firefox for now because it has a uh, search box on the side now this is how Internet Explorer used to look it had a lot of bunch of just a bunch of little crap you know search engines and a bunch of uh, website stuff but this is also set to Babylon um, search engine which I do not like whatsoever um, but you want to search something on the internet let's say you're trying to file your taxes and you need to get help for some from somebody that knows how to settle your taxes you can look up you know tax services click enter and you'll see a bunch of little tax services as you can see a lot of these places are legitimate usually the ones that have um, been placed at the top usually are legitimate uh, websites but again watch out for places that may try to rip you off as there's a lot of places on the internet that I'll try to mislead you on uh, saying that they're legitimate places to get your taxes done and really they're not at all you can click the Jackson Hewitt tax service homepage a really easy way to figure out whether somebody is legitimate or not is to compare their website now this website looks very well done it looks like they spent a lot of time and they're really trying to get you to go for their services usually people that have nice websites tend to be the more legitimate ones and they if if they have packages you should trust them if they don't have packages and or options to contact them then you should not even consider them in your tax business you know whatever you're trying to do because if they don't have any contact information there's no way to get a hold of them if they're doing your taxes for you and of course they can't really you can't really talk to them if they don't have tax services um, if you if they can't get information off of you but basically next we can go and find other websites now there's also programs you can use to check if a website is legitimate um, McAfee has a very cool website um, checking service but um, I don't really have it right now because I'm pretty smart with using the internet and making sure that I don't click on the wrong thing but if you go to like let's say the 10th or the let's go to like the 20th page so there it starts getting a lot less legitimate there's a lot of places like PMC tax services which tend to be local services and you can already see that this just does not look realistic to you now they do provide you with contact information this is more for local people who like to get their taxes done inside um, places they have location which means that it really is located somewhere there's a small little place in uh, 
I don't even know what that is. But um, you can see by their website, it does not look as legitimate as the obviously the uh, first ser the first website we clicked, which was the Jackson Hewitt website. Now to open a tab, which is let's say you're on YouTube and you want to go on Facebook, you can simply click a new tab, which is this little plus button. It'll open up a new tab, and you have to type in the website www.facebook.com. Now you don't have to type in the www because it should automatically do that for you, unless it's a subdomain, which is like my um, subdomain, which is light. Uh, I mean, um, blogcast.lightcaststudios.com. Now I spelled that wrong. If you spell something wrong, you should. Well, I don't know how to say it. You should basically just try to fix it. Now, notice I didn't type in www behind it because once I go to the website, it should type in http colon slash slash blogcast.lightcaststudios.com and it has a bunch of my uh, little things right here. Getting back to the new tab, let's say you want to go to facebook.com. So you already opened a new tab and you want to go to Facebook. Usually, if you're trying to get to a website, you just type in the, you think of the name like Facebook or Twitter and you add a .com to it. That's as simple as it gets. So, Facebook, and then using common knowledge, dot com, which is dot computer, and now you can use Facebook and check up your grandson's things and seeing whatever the heck he's doing on his um, page and whatever he's doing in his social life that is bothering you. Getting back to YouTube, we have a bunch of these little uh, little search engines we want to get rid of. And we don't know how to do it because we accidentally installed some program this kind, link, this kind young computer guy told us to download because they're trustworthy, but it turned out to be some kind of virus and or some stupid search engine that they really didn't like. So in order to do this, you can simply uh, go to places like, they usually have an options where you can set the um, Google or, you know, the toolbar. So you can download and install things, but I think on the uh, Mozilla Firefox there's ways for you to get rid of it so you can go to Firefox uh, add-ons I believe and then you can find the add-ons on your Firefox and get rid of them so I have an extension I have Babylon and YouTube downloader toolbar so these are the toolbars that we saw right here YouTube downloader and Babylon toolbar to get rid of them simply go to Babylon 1.2 disable or remove I hate Babylon remove and yes and remove YouTube downloader I don't want this one and that should be good now we can restart now which will restart the Mozilla Firefox and it should open up in about five seconds getting here now you can see that we don't have anything we have a simple uh, search engine link right here and depending on how many search engines will you have installed and search engines by the way are basically whatever you use to look up things on the internet so you can have yahoo.com or you can have Google Babylon, MSN search, AOL, basically any search engine that you can think of. To change them, you can go to this little icon or this little arrow pointing down. Search using the search, the web, Babylon, no. And you can set it to whatever you want. Now, I want to set it to Google, but I also want to get rid of all these other pieces of crap that I don't want on my computer. To do this, remember, go to this arrow, click Manage Search Engines, and you have a bunch of different things you can do. Remove 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 Bing remove amazon.com remove eBay face mood search and Wikipedia click OK and it should set my uh, search engine to Google automatically because there's no other search engines now when I want to search with Google which is my favorite search engine because they're really trustworthy usually um, and they have a lot of young people that are working on to make sure that everything is top-notch and the web you know the web interface is very simple I want to look at pictures of cats again Bam! Click the little area right here, typed in cats, and I got a bunch of cats. Now these are websites on the search little area right here. If you click the search, it'll give you a bunch of different little things of cats and kitty cats. Pop Cats the Musical. You can also look up images by clicking images of cats, and now you have images. You can find maps of cats, usually finding veterinary places, cats and dogs, animal hospital. Now you know where I live. You can go to Play, which is a new feature from Google, which allows you to find books and stuff like that, and movies, and basically anything social. You can also go to U+. 
YouTube.com, which is owned by Google.com, and you can find cats on Google. So now it says Firefox has determined that the following add-ons are known to cause the stability and security problems. Now before you get on that phone and freak out and call the computer guy about your problem, all you need to do is figure out the dilemma. It says Firefox has determined that Java has been causing problems on the security and stability of your um, computer. Now usually it wouldn't pop up for something like this because Java is used to run um, videos on YouTube and it's a very trustworthy um, company so I wouldn't disable it I would just click this and click restart Firefox and you shouldn't worry about it because it's not a virus it's just simply telling you that the internet has gotten error and has made a mistake simple as that that's basically how you use the internet I mean it's really simple if you have any questions about it let me know but I'm just gonna keep on going and showing you how to do other things so like I said, remember when I told you how to get to the home page on Internet Explorer? The same thing applies here. There's a little home icon here, and if you clicked it, it'll get you to the Babylon Search um, home page. Now to change your home page, if you're not satisfied with this stupid search engine, all you need to do is go to the little arrow right here. It says display your bookmarks, um, I believe, and then you would go to... No, I'm sorry, Firefox is different. There's this little golden area right here on Firefox where you click the arrow, and you click Options and click options and then it says home page now remember this is the home page this little area babylon.com and if you click this it'll go to this website link right here which is the same as the one right here so if you want to set it to google.com you go to options options click this double click it triple click it highlight the whole thing click backspace and type in www dot google dot com enter and now when you go to your home page it'll be set to google dot com look at that you have successfully changed your home page figure out how to use your search engine and also figure out how to use your URL go to your home page and also change things up here now let's say you want to print something off the internet but you don't know how and you don't have word or microsoft office to um, copy and paste it into there uh, now let's say you're on a really tight thing so you want to go to mapquest.com and you want to download something or you want to um, figure out where to go um, in case you get somewhere so let's say you want to go to Norway <laughs> not really New York New York New York from uh, from California Street San Francisco okay so you click get directions and it'll tell you exactly how to get there now you have options on MapQuest and or Google Maps to print things out. You can use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in and zoom out and you can also use um, different buttons to print and things, things like that. Now let's say you're about to go and you want to print this out with a bunch of different driving directions as you can see here a lot of driving directions. It tells you how long it will take to get there, how many miles it will take and different routes you need to take. So you can click this route and it will take you to a different way. Click this one up here it will take you to the top road going through all those northern states. Now if you want to print this out you can either click this little print button and it should open up a print screen right here where it will tell you what to print print, and how it will look and you click print and you can also include the map that's included right here to see exactly where it goes through and now you have a map and you have the uh, directions. You can click print and you can print it. Now if you want to print it the other way you can also click Firefox and you can click print and print or control P. This will give you the little options to print it off your computer and stuff like that. You can also view how it looks like you were doing with the other time. So you go to print preview and it will show you how it will look when it prints out on your computer. Now isn't that nice? Now I taught you how to print off your computer as well. So that's basically how to use the internet. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, let's just do a quick overview. I showed you how to type in a website, use YouTube, type in search engines and change them, also how to manage them and get rid of things, how to use the home button to get back to your home page, and also how to change the home page by going to Firefox and or whatever options, um, options and then changing your home page, how to print stuff off the internet, and also how to use new tabs and things like that. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hope it wasn't too long. And thank you for bearing with me. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and until next time, this is Lightcast Studios, and thanks for watching.